Hi, Hiram here. Uh, one of my last videos I did was making how do I make DIY fire starters out of stuff you might find in your cat's litter box. The kitty litter that I'm talking about here is something that I found at the store called Tidy Cats Pure Nature. It's a mixture of corn, cedar, and pine all ground up. I thought this might, it's all burnable stuff. So I was thinking that this might make good filler for fire starters. And I made small ones like this. Since I did that video, I've been having a bunch of people ask the same, basically the same two questions. One, how long will one of these burn? And two, can you get water to boil using these? Now originally I made them in this size, just small little papers. But I wanted to do something where I could use a form for it. And I had these pans, they're little, I don't know, cupcake pans or whatever. And you can get bigger papers. So I used this, making a little bit larger of a fire starter. And I was able to press them down in using that pan, whereas this I just kind of put loose, the loose kitty litter with wax in here. I'll leave a link down below so you can find the original video. So what I'm going to do today is do two little tests, do two tests to see what happens. One, I'm going to do a burn time test, and then the second half of this will be I'll put one of these larger fire starters in a firebox nano and see what we can do as far as heating up water. Now on these larger ones, they run in weight. Any, I didn't worry too much about making them all the same weight, but they ran anywhere from 20.4 grams to 24.7. So they're pretty close in weight. But I picked out two of them in the middle. One is 21.7 grams, and the other one is 21.8 grams. I'll use this one for the boil test and this smaller one for a burn time test. So what we'll do here, <clears throat> I'm going to keep the camera on this just so that you see that there's no flim flam, but I'm going to speed it up so that you don't have to sit through all of this. And then after that, I'll do the boil test. Oh, one thing I should mention, when I did these, the kitty litter with the wax in it, I pressed it into the pan, but then I also made this cavity hope you can see that, that I then filled in with a little extra wax to give the thing a little bit more oomph. So let's try lighting this. You just light the paper part up across the wood. I know some people have said put wicks in them to try to get them going that way. Okay, let's start that. It's not actually fast here yet. Do it some more lighting. This one kind of has wax all the way across the top. I probably should have just made sure that it was just in the indent and not covering all of the, the wood chips. Come on. Too much wax on the top of this. All right, I'm going to speed it up from here. Okay, there we are at 20 minutes, still burning. I wouldn't say that it burned that whole 20 minutes because you saw in the beginning uh, it took a while for the flames to really catch on. But I learned a couple of things with this. One, I had too much wax across the top of the fire starter. Uh, you know, kind of like this. It was all across the top. 
so it was hard to get the wood part to actually start. I should do more of it. Like I said, I put a dent in here and I poured wax in, but then it kept going and covered the top. I really should just make it so it's down in there and not across the top. This would be much easier to light. Uh, the other thing was I still have a lot of wax here in the lid. Now when I use these to start a fire, I usually put this on a piece of wood so that whatever wax comes out of the fire starter goes onto the wood and burns there. Without having that here, a, a bit of the wax just came out and onto the pan. On the smaller ones like this, for something like this, I put them into a tea light, an empty tea light cup. That way all of the wax it keeps contained in here and is burned up through with this. But for a campfire, I would lay this onto a piece of wood and then burn it from there. Let's see how much there's left in this. Yeah, that's pretty much all ashes. Now watch, as I put this out onto the wax, see how it flames up? Because all of that stuff is able to pick up the wax from in this lid. Pretty cool. So that's two things. With these, using these for fire starters, I probably cut them in half out in the woods. So what I'm going to do next is get some water prepped. I'll put one of these, which one was it? This one. I'll put this one in the firebox nano and see how long it takes to get water to boil. I'm pretty sure the flames will last long enough. It's just a matter of this is a hot enough flame. So let me go get some water prepped and I'll be right back for a test. Okay, so I've got two cups of water setting at 60 degrees. Let's try lighting this. Now this one doesn't have as much wax across the top like the other one did, the other fire starter, so hopefully it'll start a little bit easier. Room temperature is 46 degrees. It's cloudy. It's 14 degrees outside. That's Fahrenheit. Looks like maybe this one has a little bit too much wax across the top too. I gotta remember that next time I make these. Gotta leave more of the wood particles. Oops. And then I blow it out with my talking. They've got to be made to start a little bit easier than that. Get that down in there. Okay, heat coming up off this, so that's pretty good. Okay, I'm going to let this burn for just a little bit. It's still not quite lit. Really do have to keep that in mind. Oops. <laughs> My darn talking blew it out. Now, like I said, when I use these for fire starters, I cut them in half and put them on a piece of wood. Then you've got all kinds of exposed material underneath. Right now, I, I got a little too rambunctious with the wax on this. It's just like, these are basically a buddy burner, but using this kitty litter stuff instead of cardboard. If you've ever tried lighting your buddy burners where they're full of, full of uh, wax up to the top, you know they're hard to get started too. Like some people said, stick some wicks in here. That might not be a bad idea. Okay, now if I can just put this back in without blowing it out. Again, I'm using the Nano, the Firebox Nano on this. You could use almost anything. With the smaller fire starters, I would have used a wet fire stove. But these things are a little bit too big. It doesn't give you much space between the top of this to the bottom of the pot. So I'm going to go with the Firebox Nano. Again, I put the can lid in here to contain some of the wax as it melts off of this. Okay, I'm feeling heat, but it's still not really going good. So let me just cut here, and I'll be back when this is really burning. Okay, we've got a bit more flame in here. I think you can see it now. Unfortunately, my water's dropped to 58 degrees because of the temperature in here. But let's see how this goes. Okay, well Two minutes into the test, the temperature is up to about 91 degrees Fahrenheit. I think as you can see it's a pretty nice flame. 
see it in through the uh, feeder hole there a little bit of soot on the bottom of the pot but that's to be expected uh, but a little slow but I think hopefully we should get there okay there we have 210 211 212 and 6 minutes 31 seconds not too bad now the one thing here this is a whole lot smokier than it was without the pot on it for some reason it, uh, really soot everywhere on the pot now again or not again but do not do this indoors this is not an indoor thing I'm just doing it inside because I have protection and whatnot but I do it in here so that I can get it on camera don't ever use something like this indoors it's always for outside let me see if I can find a place that I can pick this up without getting everything all over me yes a lot of soot again see it's a little bit cleaner maybe you can't see it it burns cleaner without this pot on there but see <laughs> lots of soot uh, looks like it'll be easy stuff to get off but it's still sooty so I hope this helps those that asked yes in an emergency type situation you know you get to your campsite everything's all wet you can't find wood you were planning on using wood for your heat and everything you could use something like this to boil water to get water hot I don't think I'd use this on an everyday basis uh, there are a couple of things I have to change with this stuff some of them too much alcohol or why do I keep saying that too much wax on the top like that it makes them very hard to heat to start up I'm thinking of two or three different things here at the same time now normally I've said this a bunch of times I just cut this in half and then you got all that stuff on the inside to burn but when you're trying to light it like this a little hard to do so in the next batch when I do it like this I just put a little bit of wax down in there not across the top okay so anyway I hope this helps those that asked for it I thank you for watching sorry this turned out to be such a long video but I look forward to your input questions remarks helpful suggestions and as always watch for my buddy Max bye now